Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to explore England on just $50 a day. From delicious street food to free attractions, I've got all the tips you need to make the most of your budget. So, let's get started. First stop, London Let's kick off our budget adventure in London. You might think this city is expensive, but there are plenty of free or low-cost activities. Start your day with a visit to the British Museum, it's free and packed with amazing exhibits from ancient Egypt to modern art. After that, take a stroll through Hyde Park, one of the largest parks in the city, perfect for a relaxing afternoon. Don't forget to check out the beautiful Kensington Gardens and the Serpentine Lake. If you're a fan of art, head over to the National Gallery or the Tate Modern, both of which offer free entry and house incredible collections. Also, consider a visit to the Victoria and Albert Museum, another free museum with fascinating exhibits. Eating on a budget for lunch, head to a local market like Borough Market or Camden Market. You can find delicious street food for as little as five pounds. I grabbed a mouth-watering falafel wrap, so good and so cheap. Other great options include fish and chips, which you can often find for around seven pounds, or a hearty Cornish pasty for under five pounds. If you prefer sitting down, check out local cafes and pubs that offer budget-friendly lunch deals. Pred A Manger and Greg's are also good options for affordable meals on the go. Also, consider picking up some groceries from supermarkets like Tesco or Sainsbury's and having a picnic in one of the many beautiful parks. Another tip is to look for meal deals at supermarkets, where you can get a sandwich, drink, and snack for just a few pounds. Free attractions and hidden gems next, let's explore some more free attractions. The changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace is a must-see, and it doesn't cost a penny. It usually happens at 11 a.m., but make sure to check the schedule. Then, wander around Covent Garden and enjoy the street performances and vibrant atmosphere. Another hidden gem is the Sky Garden, offering stunning views of the city for free. Just make sure to book your visit in advance. Additionally, take a walk along the South Bank, where you can enjoy the riverside views and catch free performances near the National Theatre. Don't miss a visit to the Science Museum and the Natural History Museum, both are free and offer interactive exhibits that are fun for all ages. Also, check out Leiden Hall Market, a beautiful Victorian market that's great for window shopping and soaking in the atmosphere. Affordable transportation getting around London can be pricey, but a daily travel card or an Oyster card can save you a lot. Opt for buses over the tube whenever possible to see more of the city and save money. Also, consider walking between attractions when they are close. It's a great way to discover the city's hidden gems and save on transport costs. For those looking to explore more, rent a Santander cycle for just £2 for unlimited 30-minute journeys within 24 hours. Another tip is to take advantage of free walking tours. Many companies offer these, and it's a great way to learn about the city's history and culture while sticking to your budget. Additionally, consider downloading transport apps like CityMapper to find the cheapest and quickest routes. Venturing outside London on the second day, take a day trip to Oxford. The bus ride is affordable, and the city is full of history and charm. Walk around the university, visit the free museums, like the Ashmolean Museum and the Museum of the History of Science, and soak in the beautiful architecture. Don't miss the Bodleian Library, one of the oldest libraries in Europe, and the picturesque Christ Church Meadow. If you have more time, consider visiting the Cotswolds, a stunning area of rolling hills and charming villages, easily accessible by bus from Oxford. Another great day trip option is Brighton, enjoy the seaside, explore the quirky shops in the lanes, and relax on the beach, all without breaking the bank. For another historical experience, take a trip to Bath, famous for its Roman baths and Georgian architecture. You can often find cheap bus tickets if you book in advance. Cheap accommodation accommodation can eat up your budget quickly, but hostels and budget hotels are your best friends. I found a cozy hostel in Oxford for just £20 a night, which included breakfast. If you're in London, look for budget options like YHA hostels or budget hotels like Premier Inn. 
Booking in advance can often get you a better deal. For a more unique experience, consider staying in university dorms, which are available for tourists during the holidays at a reasonable price. Also, check out Airbnb for affordable rooms or apartments, especially if you're traveling with a group and can split the cost. Additionally, consider couchsurfing for free accommodation and a chance to meet locals who can give you insider tips. Nightlife on a budget evenings in England can also be affordable and fun. Look for happy hour deals in pubs and bars, where you can enjoy discounted drinks and meals. Many cities also offer free or low-cost entertainment options, like open mic nights, comedy shows, and local theater performances. In London, head to the South Bank for free outdoor events, or check out the many street performers in Covent Garden. Another option is to explore the vibrant street art scene in areas like Shoreditch. For a quieter evening, join a free walking tour that explores the city's ghost stories or historical mysteries. And that's how you can explore England on just $50 a day. Remember, traveling on a budget doesn't mean missing out on amazing experiences. With a bit of planning and these tips, you can make the most of your trip without breaking the bank. If you have any budget travel tips or experiences, drop them in the comments below. Happy travels!